Welcome back to Studio 5. So you think your IQ or your intelligence is one of the most important things to guarantee your success or that of your kids, but it turns out it's your EQ, your emotional quotient, that actually could be more important. Of course, that's the new buzzword, emotional intelligence. It's a big buzzword thanks to a best-selling book that proposes that this could be one of the most important skills to teach our kids and to learn ourselves. Studio 5 relationship coach Matt Townsend is going to give us a, an EQ test EQ. in a second. First of all, what is this emotional okay. intelligence? I like the sound of this. Emotional so they used to think everything was based on how smart you were. So they'd give you an IQ test, then they'd tell you where you could be in the military, if you should go to what schools, what programs. Now what they're finding out is that having a high EQ or your ability to relate to another person, to read their emotion, to manage your own emotion, mm -hmm. your abil ability to manage emotion and enroll people into emotion is actually a better attribute of success. You're more likely to succeed by having that skill than having a lot of intellect. It's kind of book smarts versus street smarts uh -huh. and social smarts. Exactly, and social smarts. So how, what kind of results do I get with you is that's not always based on my IQ. There's very smart people that don't know how to relate to others. Mm -hmm. So uh, th what makes a good doctor is probably really more of a good bedside manner. Yeah. That's how you remember your doctor maybe more than knowing what his scores were on the MCAT. That's what makes a good television host too, I think. That's exactly. That's why you guys are phenomenal because you reach oh, out. Where's the camera? <laughs> you reach out of the camera into the hearts right of here. the people. Go right here. And you reach into their hearts yes. and then you bring yes. them into your emotions. Yes. It's called emotional intelligence. I like it. You guys have it. <laughs> That's why you like it. Okay, you're going to give us a little quiz here. You got some questions yes. for us? Yes. Okay, are you ready for this? This yeah. is the test. And I'm not going to, I don't want to be specific because I don't want to catch you guys, you know, <laughs> off guard. Yeah. Um, but do you recognize your own emotions and the feelings as your own feelings as they are happening? Do you recognize your own emotions oh. in the emotion? Like a self-check. Uh-huh. Like, do you actually recognize when you're feeling sad and see it and notice it when it's happening? Because mm -hmm. if you do, then you have this, this part called self-awareness, right? So one key to emotional intelligence is you're self-aware. Have you ever met a friend that is just not self-aware? They have no idea that what they're saying is offensive to either you or they're not even recognizing how their mood, their anger is actually impacting others. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen that? Yes. yes. Self-awareness is a key because if you're highly self-aware, you usually are better other aware, meaning you're better aware of others' feelings if you know your own. So one of the keys out there in TV land is start noticing your own emotions when they're having, ha when you're having them. If you have a breakdown, kind of track it back to the moment you started to go the mm -hmm. wrong direction. Mm -hmm. Okay? I'm sad. I'm upset. I'm honored. I'm frustrated. Yeah. And you got to notice it in the moment because if you can notice it in the moment, you're more likely to stop it, which is our second question. Do you know how to regulate and manage your own emotions so they don't get the best of you? Mm. Okay, so think of this. There's a lot of people out there whose husbands or their wives, they, they come to me and they're really angry because their husband's always angry and he doesn't know how to manage his he emotion. Has a temper. Okay, now notice, so a temper would be a lack of emotional intelligence. We have to first be self aware, then the second key is you've got to regulate. You have to self regulate, meaning you've got to notice when you're feeling angry and have some method to change that emotion inside of you. If you can't self regulate, you're in trouble as an individual. Not only are you not probably noticing it till too late, you're not able to regulate it. Those are two skills that I teach a lot of in my classes, but those are two skills that think of that, demand or, or create incredibly successful people. And two very different things. One uh -huh. is recognizing oh, I'm losing my patience, That's and the it. second is being able to say, oh, I've got to do something That's exactly about it. exactly right. So okay. notice, those are all about me having control over my own emotion. And you can learn that. These are all learned skills. I mean, a lot of times I think mm -hmm. the word temper is a thrown away, like, I'm oh, yeah. born with a temper. Yeah, but you I'm can, Italian or right. I'm <laughs> Irish or whatever they want. Right, but you teach people how to do that. Yeah. It's a skill. I mean, it's called anger management. You just learn to recognize your emotion, negative thought detection, positive thought selection, choose a better thought and a technique to get over it. Mm. So the third one, though, is do you recognize the emotions and feelings in others? Uh, the, as they are being presented to you. So this is now where I am now into you. So it's now I can recognize when you're upset. I can recognize when you're sad, when you're down. Now this is the beginning of validation because once I can see you're hurting and I actually care and feel for it because I'm emotionally connected to it, now I have the ability to actually start to move your emotion. We've all been, we all know how to make our wives or husbands really mad right now. We know that we just got to say that one thing about that one thing, boom! Push now, the button. We know that because we're intelligent enough to know their buttons. So emotional intelligence is to say, not only do I know myself and I can regulate myself, I understand your heart and I can actually, the next one is, I can actually help to lower your emotion. I think mothers are so good at oh, this. Oh, this is, at I think I agree. Every age, I think mothers are so good I at I think this. if we really looked at it, it's kind of a more inherent trait, emotional intelligence, because you tend to be the nurturer. You have more emotional cues and more emotional abilities. 
Except I don't think a lot of mothers know exactly how to do it. Mm. They just should, they think they should do it naturally, but when you've had it and you're fed up and if you have to see one more diaper, seriously, <laughs> and then your husband sits there, that pig, uh. well, you have to change the diaper. And he's like, I didn't even smell it. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, did I go off there? Because that was just intense. Wow. I just channeled one of my I clients. I felt that. I did felt you feel your that? emotional frustration. And we don't even have diapers. Well, okay. <laughs> but it's just, it's echoing in my head. It's, it's a nightmare coming he back. still has. But this one is, do you know how to validate others and effectively manage it? So if I see my wife going off like that, I need to not only notice the emotion, but know how to validate her emotion and manage those feelings so I can help her lower those. Notice what an emotionally intelligent skill that is. By the way, you know who's good at that? So crazy, and it's the last skill. Do you know how to relate well enough with others to enroll them into your emotions? Do you know who tends to be good at that? Are the politicians. Oh, yeah. So if you think of whether you like Bill Clinton or not, there's probably no master person better at mastering showing you I get your emotion. I yeah. feel your pain. Yeah. That is, that is a gift. So the ability of emotional intelligence to enroll people into your dreams, into your feelings, into your goals, makes me now a leader, because now I can get you to do what I need you to do. So notice all of these skills are about relationships, which is why I believe it's one of the most important things we've got going. Good stuff, Matt. You Huge. help people build these skills all the time. All the time. Every class I teach. Now what we've got, though, is this online program, okay? And we've been talking about it, but I have about 110 hours online. So all you have to do is go to matttownsend.com, and you just have to, it's, ten, it's normally $27 a month, but because you are here with us today, for one low price, for $10, we'll give you a pass, and you can go on, enter in the type, type in the code EQ. Emotional quotient? EQ, emotional okay. quotient, and you're in for $10, and it gives you 110 hours of content. I would have thought today's code would have been diapers, but that's just Oh, me. that was just my move. We'll go with EQ. Good stuff, Matt. Thanks, we love kids. it. Thank Matt. you. We'll be right back. back.